Now, if you're looking for a game that is an absolute adrenaline rush, a roller coaster ride that is a mix of high tempo gameplay that all plays out alongside this symphony of dark synthwave cyberpunk styled music, then Ghost Runner is exactly what you need. The fluidity between movement and combat in Ghost Runner is just, it's eye candy, that's the only way I can describe it. You are this robotic ninja suffering from a memory loss who is being led along the way to help out with a revolution with awesome synthwave styled music. Honestly, the soundtrack is amazing. Now, imagine Excalibur in Warframe from a first person perspective, since a lot of you are from a Warframe background. Frantic, fast paced, punishing gameplay, because it is a hard game, you can't get hit at all. But imagine slash dashing, sliding, and wall running your way across a map while trying to take out various different styles of enemies situated in certain positions that can kill you with one shot, causing you to restart from your previous checkpoint. Running an assault course to solve puzzles while avoiding getting hit and finding the perfect path to cut your way through that actual level. Kind of speedrunning eventually, that's what Ghost Runner is and it's easily one of my favorite games of 2020. It's also one that will scratch that cyberpunk itch that you might be looking for, possibly, probably craving, right? Ghost Runner plays heavily on reflexes, right? Like I said, it is a challenging game. One that is designed to have you retrying levels time and again to see how fast you can get them done, or if you die quite a lot, basically to replan your strategy to get around the map as quick as possible. Ghost Runner is also tailor-made for a young person, right? <laughs> like me, who is known for having their cat-like reflexes, right, a ninja? Young person, my beard totally doesn't have grey hair, that's just, it's the lighting, it makes it look that way. The game has many different movement mechanics in it that are really enjoyable to mix between as you move your way across each level, from grinding rails to catching a ride on a flying drone to grappling hooks, all while slowing down time, blinking out of harm's way, while maybe also having to throw stars at wall switches while you're wall running to activate the doors that you're trying to reach. And they all mix this in with their boss fights at times as well, or I guess their kind of boss events. It's not just simply a case of attacking a boss. Parkour elements are added into it for every choice. Avoiding lasers while wall running or using grappling hooks play a part in most of these fights or areas. Now there was one boss fight, a, or a boss event I guess, where you have to progress from the bottom of the area all the way up to the very top to break two separate parts that will break this mining laser, all while avoiding these rotating lasers and different hazardous items and honestly it was absolutely exhilarating. Now it was frustrating as well, I did die quite a lot, but it was exhilarating. Even as I got hit by all of those lasers time and again, the enjoyment didn't disappear. You get this sense of accomplishment, right? Pride and accomplishment <laughs> when you get it done. Another boss fight had you having to deflect melee attacks in order to open them up to break their shield and allow you to actually deal damage to them. But I won't show that because of course spoilers, but it was really enjoyable as well. But I guess what I'm trying to say is if there is one game right now that I would highly, highly recommend, then it would definitely be Ghost Runner. There is a lot of really good things going for it. The gameplay itself, the fluidity, the movement, the speed, the pace, the adrenaline rush, the music in the background that's kind of hyping you up at the same time while trying to fight all of those enemies, while trying to solve all of those puzzles. It's just incredibly fun to play. And let's be honest, right? Fun is the name of the game. That's why you play games in the first place. For me, Ghost Runner just ticks all the boxes. Chances are though, you already know that and you've already played it and you said, yeah, Potato, you're late with this one. And you're right. Let me know what you think of Ghost Runner in the comment section below. And as always, thanks very much for watching.